About 200 million televisions are sold worldwide each year. And to meet this enormous demand, major technology factories operate around the clock, day and night. But have you ever wondered, how are televisions made? How can a product only a few inches thick contain thousands of electronic components inside? The journey begins with manufacturing the display, the most important part that determines image quality. Then, electronic circuit boards are carefully assembled, linking millions of tiny transistors. The LED backlight system is precisely installed to distribute light evenly across the entire surface. And finally, smart software is installed, turning an ordinary TV into a versatile entertainment hub. Let's step inside the largest TV factory in the United States to discover what really happens inside this familiar machine. The evolution of television has been a continuous process of improvement, completely transforming how people enjoy entertainment at home. In the mid-20th century, TVs displayed only black and white images. In the 1960s, color technology arrived, ushering in a more vivid viewing experience. By the 1990s, flat panel displays emerged, and technology companies like Samsung quickly became pioneers. The early 2000s marked a major leap with the advent of LED TVs. Thanks to light-emitting diodes, sets became thinner and lighter, more energy-efficient, incapable of far more vibrant color. But the most significant shift came when televisions became smart TVs, able to connect to the internet, download apps, and access Netflix, YouTube, and many other platforms, turning them into the true entertainment hub of the home. Today, 4K, 8K smart TVs with ultra-slim bodies and a host of new technologies deliver sharp images, accurate colors, and support for voice assistance. This blend of cutting-edge engineering and refined design has made them an almost indispensable presence in the modern household. Before a TV can officially enter the production line, it must go through a meticulous phase of research and preparation. Major electronics companies often begin by studying the habits and needs of consumers across different markets. For example, customers in the United States tend to favor extra-large screen models suitable for spacious living rooms. In contrast, users in Asian cities usually prefer compact designs that save space in smaller apartments. The data collected becomes the foundation for manufacturers to make crucial decisions. Which screen sizes to focus on, whether to prioritize 4K or 8K resolution, the inclusion of voice control, and the level of integration with smart home systems. Based on this information, the design team sketches out ideas and creates 3D models to clearly visualize the TV's appearance and functionality. If you had to choose, would you prefer a supersized TV for the living room or a compact one that saves space? After the research and prototyping phase, the production process moves on to one of the most crucial stages, creating the display panel. This is the heart of the TV, where every image comes to life. To produce an LCD panel, manufacturers use a special technique called the sandwich method. Two ultra-thin sheets of glass are layered together, with liquid crystal sealed in between. This liquid crystal layer allows each pixel, tiny picture elements, to light up or change color according to the signal it receives. On one of the glass sheets, engineers arrange millions of microscopic transistors. These function like switches, controlling the brightness and color of each pixel. On the other sheet, a matrix of red, green, and blue color filters is applied. By combining these three primary colors, the panel can reproduce millions of different shades, creating vivid and diverse images. The entire process must be carried out in a clean room environment, where dust and humidity are strictly controlled. Once the two glass layers are prepared, liquid crystal is injected into each cell, and the sheets are bonded together by specialized pressing machines. The result is a thin, lightweight LCD panel containing millions of synchronized pixels and transistors. It is this precise combination of transistors, 
liquid crystals, and color filters that enables today's TVs to deliver sharp, detailed, and vibrant images. Once the LCD panel is completed, the process continues with the installation of the LED backlight, the light source that makes the entire screen come alive. This step requires a combination of automated machinery and human precision. Robots are responsible for placing the LED strips in exact positions along the frame, ensuring accuracy down to the inch so that light is evenly distributed across the surface. At the same time, Technicians oversee the process and adjust details that machines cannot fully handle, such as checking installation angles or correcting minor misalignments during operation. The raw light from the LEDs is then directed through a transparent plexiglass sheet, a special material that diffuses the light evenly across the panel, eliminating bright or dark spots. Several layers of optical films are then added to enhance brightness and color vibrancy. Once the entire display unit is stabilized, workers and robots work together to press the front plastic layer and attach the bezel, forming a solid, unified display assembly. Once the screen and LED backlight are complete, the TV is still just a silent display block. To transform it into a truly smart device, the electronic circuit boards must be installed. Among them, the main board serves as the central processor. It receives video and audio signals, processes them through graphic and audio chips, and manages all connections such as internet, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, as well as responses from the remote control. The power board, on the other hand, has a different role. It converts the high voltage alternating current from the outlet into multiple safe direct current levels precisely distributing power to components ranging from the LEDs and processing chips to the speakers and input-output ports. The assembly process begins with blank printed circuit boards. Technicians carefully place transistors, capacitors, resistors, processor chips, and communication ports into their designated positions on the board. Wave soldering machines or robotic systems then coat the metallic pins with molten solder creating strong and reliable joints to ensure stable electrical flow. Afterward, workers use industrial magnifiers to inspect each solder point, eliminating any micro defects that could lead to short circuits or disconnections. Once the components are secured, technicians add small connectors such as HDMI, USB, and LAN to the main board. These act as gateways for the TV to communicate with the outside world. Finally, the entire circuit board is mounted onto its frame and connected to the LCD panel and LED backlight through flat ribbon cables. Once the electronic boards have been securely mounted and thoroughly tested, the process continues with the assembly of the protective casing, the armor, that keeps the entire internal structure safe. Components such as the front bezel, frame, and back cover are pre-manufactured using high-pressure plastic injection molding, ensuring both precision and durability. On the assembly line, robots position each casing piece into place, while technicians manually adjust and align them so that every detail fits perfectly with the circuit boards, cables, and delicate display panel inside. Each component is then fastened using screws, locking clips, or thermal welding at critical points to form a solid, unified structure. This stage requires a careful balance between automation and human craftsmanship, since even the slightest misalignment could put undue stress on the thin screen or loosen internal connections. Once the casing is fully assembled, technicians perform a series of checks, verifying the tightness of joints, the rigidity of the structure, and the surface finish. Any excess material from the molding process is trimmed away, and the exterior is polished to achieve a clean, refined look. The result is a fully enclosed TV body, sleek and sturdy, designed to protect all internal components from dust, moisture, and mechanical impact throughout the product's lifespan.
Once the outer casing has been fitted tightly around the internal system, the TV may look complete, but in reality, it still has to undergo a series of rigorous quality checks before it can be released from the factory. The first and most critical step is image testing. The entire screen is scanned by ultra-high resolution cameras and optical sensors that are many times more sensitive than the human eye. These devices can detect minute flaws such as dead pixels, those that remain permanently on or off, causing inconsistencies in the display. The system also measures light uniformity across the entire panel to identify areas that are overly bright or dim, a phenomenon known as backlight bleeding. Additional color tests are performed as the screen cycles through gradients, standard color charts, and even fast-moving video. This allows engineers to verify color accuracy, tonal reproduction, and smoothness in motion rendering. Next comes audio testing. The speakers and signal paths are run through various frequency ranges, from low bass to high treble, over a short cycle. Specialized measurement microphones capture the output and compare it against reference standards, enabling the detection of distortion, channel loss, or unwanted buzzing. Alongside these, the electronic circuitry undergoes close inspection. Technicians use industrial magnifiers and measurement tools to examine solder joints, trace lines, and signal transmission, eliminating risks of short circuits, broken connections, or components running out of spec. Finally, endurance tests are carried out. The TV is switched on and off thousands of times, operated inside environmental chambers with extreme heat and humidity, and even subjected to vibration to simulate shipping conditions. Only after passing every one of these demanding trials is the TV granted a certification seal and deemed ready to leave the production line and reach consumers. After passing all the rigorous hardware tests, the TV moves on to the next stage, loading the system software, the step that transforms it from a simple display device into a true smart TV. On the production line, technicians connect specialized computers to install the operating system along with a set of essential applications. Thanks to this software, the TV can access the internet, log into Netflix, YouTube, and other online services. Users can also customize picture and sound settings and assign shortcut keys according to personal preferences. Once the installation is complete, each TV undergoes a final round of testing, connecting to Wi-Fi, checking network stability, testing the responsiveness of the remote control, and ensuring smooth performance when running applications. Only when every smart feature operates flawlessly does the product qualify to move on to packaging and preparation for shipment. Once the hardware, software, and final tests are complete, the TV enters the packaging stage, the protective step that ensures the product can leave the factory safely. First, the screen and body are wrapped in molded foam inserts that fit tightly around every corner to guard against impact during transport. For sensitive components, such as circuit boards and connection ports, technicians also use anti-static bags to prevent damage from electrical discharge. Next, the entire TV is placed into a multi-layered cardboard carton, designed to withstand pressure and vibrations. Inside the box are accessories such as the user manual, power cord, HDMI cable, and in some markets, a wall mounting bracket. The carton is printed with product information, barcodes, QR codes, lot numbers, and production dates, making it easy to track throughout the distribution chain. From the factory floor, these packaged units are stacked onto pallets and loaded onto trucks for transport to distribution centers or directly to retail stores around the world. When the TV leaves the factory and reaches the customer, it enters the final stage, home installation. Depending on the design and user preference, the TV can either be mounted on the wall using a specialized bracket or placed on a stand with the included legs. 
The next step is making the connections. The power cord is plugged in, HDMI cables are attached to external devices such as media players or gaming consoles, and either a LAN cable or Wi-Fi is set up to enable internet access. Behind every flat screen TV lies a race of technology. From microelectronics, software, and AI to the art of industrial design. Every sharp image you see and every sound you hear is the result of thousands of components working in perfect harmony inside that sleek casing. Which stage impressed you the most? Leave a comment below and share your thoughts. And if you enjoy journeys that uncover technology like this, don't forget to like and subscribe so you won't miss upcoming videos where we'll continue opening the doors to the inner workings of everyday devices from speakers and displays to some of the world's most advanced factories.